This is a knowledge check on Laplace transforms. We're going to cover the material, look at some Laplace tables, and review um, the information that we learned in uh, the knowledge building activities. Okay, so the very first one is what is the this 2 times y of t in the Laplace domain? So when we go to Laplace domain, we go from time to the S domain, and uh, so this is this is a time, and this is kind of related to a frequency, but um, the definition, okay, of any kind of function that we want to convert to Laplace domain is to integrate from zero to infinity, of uh, uh, multiply by e to the minus st dt. And so there are tables for this where you can look up uh, the values or you can do the integral yourself. And in this case, this is just a variable, 2 times y of t. So uh, if I uh, put y of t in here, or f of t, then that is just the definition of the Laplace of y of, um, y of t. And that is going to be equal to y of s. So in this case, uh, the Laplace domain for this one is just going to be two times that variable. Okay, this would be an impulse response. Uh, this is not correct. Uh, and then this, there's no nonlinear uh, functions in the Laplace domain, so we wouldn't have y squared either. Okay, so none of these are correct. The correct answer is just 2 times y of s. All right, let's go on to one that's just a little bit more complicated. Uh, what is the Laplace transform of the second derivative of a function with the initial condition equal to 1 and the first derivative is equal to 2? So let's go to our Laplace tables, and I'll put the link for this in the video description as well. Okay, and here's our Laplace transform table. And uh, you can do a UV decomposition and derive this. I have some information on that as well, but uh, you know, for the derivative, the first derivative is going to be s times uh, that variable, f of s minus the initial condition. But if we have a higher order derivative, then we have to use um, this formula here. And so let's uh, go ahead and apply this to this um, second derivative. Okay, so if n equals 2, then I plug this in and come up with s squared times f of s minus s times f of 0 and then minus f prime 0, the first derivative. All right, so let's go ahead and use this one right here to um, figure out which answer is correct. So I'll come back up to the question. What is the Laplace transform of this? So it's going to be uh, s squared times f of s. Okay, minus, and then we have our first derivative times s, and that's going to be times 1. And then we're going to have minus our second derivative, and that'll be minus 2. So the correct answer here is c. All right, let's go on to the next one, which is what is the initial and final value of y? And this is a transfer function. Uh, it would be a transfer function, but in this case, when we say y, uh, it means a signal. Okay, so we, we want to find the initial or final value of that. And so if we go back to um, some of the material on this, uh, I'm going to come down to initial and final conditions here. Okay, so this is some of the stuff that we had learned. Here is the final condition. 
right here. So y infinity, take the limit as s goes to 0. Uh, and now you have to multiply that signal by s. All right, and then the initial uh, value theorem is that uh, you have y naught equals limit as s goes to infinity. Um, and then you have to multiply by s and then your signal y. All right, so let's go ahead and do that for both of these. Uh, to get the final value and the initial value. Now, this does not work. One, one condition for this is it has to be stable, a stable system. So, for example, if you had a negative here instead of a positive, that would be an unstable system. We'll learn about how to determine uh, if something is stable or unstable, but it only applies to stable systems. So, if you have something in the denominator where the root is uh, positive, uh, has a positive real part, then it's going to be an unstable system, and the final value theorem does not apply. But in this case, it looks like all of ours are, you know, s equals 0. We have s equals negative 5 halves, and then s equals, and that's going to be negative 2. So those are going to be our roots. There's no a positive real part of our signal there so um, we can apply the final value theorem all right so let's go ahead and do the first one I'm gonna go ahead and change and make this just a little bit smaller so we can see it all right and so let's do the uh, initial value theorem first all right and that's going to be the limit as s goes to infinity of s times y of s. All right, so that is going to be, uh, let's go ahead and put that at infinity. So I'll have infinity plus 3 divided by, okay, and then I have s and s here, and these are going to cancel. And then I'm going to have infinity uh, plus 5, and then infinity plus 6. Okay, so I have, um, uh, this is going to go to 0. That's going to be the limit. Um, and so the initial value is going to be 0. So I know it's one of these here. Now let's apply the final value theorem as well. That's going to be the limit as s goes to 0. I'm going to multiply by s of y of s. And so... Let's go ahead and do that one as well. I'll have um, s over s, and then I'll have s plus 3, and then 2s plus 5 times 3s plus 6. All right, let's go ahead and cross out uh, those two. This one's going to go to 0, 0, and 0. And so in this case, I have uh, 3 divided by 30. And that's going to be equal to 1 over 10. So the final value theorem says that this asymptotically approaches 1 tenth. All right, so there's the answer here. Now let's go ahead and just go back to the web page. You can select these answers and it will show you, um, you know, the explanation of why it's correct or incorrect for each one. So there is our correct one. For the first one, what's the Laplace, um, uh, this, this expression, 2 times y of t in the Laplace domain. And then on the second one, okay, there's the correct solution, as we showed from the Laplace tables. And then the initial and final values of y of s, and it shows uh, the derivation of those two. Now, if you want to get back to the learning material as well, uh, it's just this navigation at the top. And so this is the quiz. Here's the learning exercises here. Uh, it shows you the Laplace tables. And then if we also go over here, there's the simulation assignment. So we're going to do next the Laplace transform applications. And then as a final one, we're going to go to the TC lab assignment. And we're going to compare the analytic solution of the FOPDT model with an impulse response of the TC lab. 
and we'll put those on the same plot and compare them. 